Hello everyone. I've been out here working at night time, which is a lot cooler. It's supposed to get up to 99 degrees today here in Hackett, Arkansas, and the heat index will be 111. And since that seam cellar sets up so fast, I decided I'd get out here and get all this stuff sanded. I'm getting ready to tape it all off. And the seam cell, every little part I gotta do, and all up in here too, I got all this to do all up around the corners there where the tail light panel meets the quarter panel but um the main reason why i was wanting to make this video here and do a short one um the uh camco paint this is the first time i've ever used it and uh, this is the hp 5311 um, direct to metal primer this is black and they have uh i believe there's gray and white I can't remember if there's other colors. Anyway, um, I use uh, the standard activator and I use the extra slow reducer. It was HR 1390. And uh, I applied this, um, I believe it was Wednesday, and this is Saturday morning. And I put one light coat and then two medium wet coats. And I'm going to tell you, this primer sands very, very easy. It doesn't clog up the sandpaper at all. It powders up nice. And up in this area here, you can see there, where you know I had some imperfections where there were grinder marks in the corner where I'd done some welding. So there's very little primer up here compared to down here where I had one tack coat and two medium wet coats. So in reality, I mean, this is probably three fourths of a coat of primer, but there's still a little bit, you can feel the little indentation there, but it's filled up the biggest part of it. Like this out here, I can't even feel it anymore. So, I just wanted to give a two thumbs up to this and thank Tammy Miller for the product. I really like it. Um, I'm getting some, uh, it's called a SoCal uh, Blue Candy, and I believe it's CC3000. Um, I'm not real familiar with all the Tamco products, but um, I don't remember if this is one that uses the activator in the candy part, or if it's just kind of like the PPG and the Matrix. They have a clear base coat, and you can add a, a tint to that. But anyway, I want to get that and practice with it and um, see how it does. But uh, so far, I'm really liking this product. So, you know, and it. The primer was very affordable. One gallon of primer with the activator was, I believe, $134. And um, I think my reducer, uh, you'll have to look on their website to make sure, uh, but I think my reducer was in the neighborhood of $35. I could be wrong on that, but anyway, for less than $200 in a gallon of primer and reducer, and it sands this good, I mean, you can't go wrong. Um, I've got a hood over here that I gotta strip down to bare metal. It's way up there on the rack. And um, I'm really looking forward to testing this primer on that to see how well it bonds. Um, as you guys know, one of my videos I shared a while back, I used the Roberto direct to metal primer and it does not stick to metal for crap. I contacted their headquarters and after a long lengthy discussions through emails first they told me it would stick to uh, the biggest area I should put that on would be a 12 inch by 8 inch area in my opinion if primer is going to stick to area that big it should stick to a whole hood but I had peeling issues in the engine bay of this car and I had to take a bunch of it out and redo that but uh, you know I've run across some primers in the past that say that you can put it on bare metal but it should not be put on an area that's bigger than the size of a quarter. That I can kind of understand because you're going to have very less chances of appealing if a rock hits and chips it because it's such a small area. But anyway, that's just my two cents worth about Roberto. I don't like it. And um, I like the Matrix a lot, but um, my supplier that I'm having here is not really going well with me, so I'm sticking with Tamco and I like it. So. Give me a thumbs up and like the channel and subscribe. Appreciate it.